Previously, nominations turned up the heat. Charlie, Christopher, Ashley, Chris, Marlon. Who's playing a game this house? Potentially a bit Chris. You're joking. Bunch of two fierce bastards in this house. Do not talk to me, Fine. And temperatures were sent soaring. I am fooling with you. They're using love. I don't need to say the word, but it's pretty, pretty obvious. Tonight, secrets are exposed. You've got hurt already last year, and you don't want it to happen again. If you're in a relationship with another man, can you lied to me? You allowed me to fall in love with you. What a situation I'm in here. I wasn't supposed to come in here and fall in love with someone. <laughs> and gossip blows the house apart. I feel like I've made some sort of evil plan. I had an evil plan. I'm so glad it came together. Ashley is the biggest two-faced bitch. Ugh, get over yourself. You don't just need to go and fit here. Don't just pick on one person, yeah? You might as well just fade us to the lines. That was nasty to do that, wasn't it? Just been exposed for what you are. I mean, it's just a nightmare. Do you have any idea how awkward it is downstairs? Dear 33, 9.30 a.m. Housemates are waking up to the prospect of this week's shopping task. Over the next two days, the Big Brother house will be running on battery power. Housemates will be called to the app zone, where they'll be tempted by various apps which drain the battery. To secure a luxury shopping budget, housemates must ensure that some charge remains by the end of the task. First to the app zone are Stephen and Ashley, who've been tempted with messages from their mums. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, okay. read, read. yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Oh my god, oh, let's do it! Oh, 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 oh. Is that the battery power? It's what battery is power. it? They They've said yes oh, to something in the battery power. What's wondering. happening? Fuck off. Oh. 75. It's a lot, that. Hi, honey. It's me, Mum. How are you? Hope you're coping really well. I mean, you look like you are coping well. You're coming across great. I just want to tell you to have fun. That's a great experience for you. It's once in a lifetime experience. Don't let anyone stand in your way of that. Another thing is not to isolate yourself too much. It's hard to watch you be unhappy. I mean, everybody in there has had their little wobbles. Your smile is beautiful, and I would love you to show the housemate and the whole public more often your beautiful smile. And we all miss you, and I'm very, very proud of you, and I, I, I love you so much, OK? Bye. Oh my god, that was so nice. I know. That was so <laughs> nice. I am so, so proud of you. You've met some lovely people. The housemates are all wonderful. And hopefully you'll have some good friends for life. But just be aware that the closest person to you in the house and that you don't want a history repeating yourself. You've got hurt already last year and you don't want it to happen again. So just make sure that your feelings are mutual and make sure that you understand the definition of dating. Anyway, darling, we send our love, lots of love, kisses and hugs, and see you soon. Bye. Oh, it was lovely. Oh my god. I just can't understand what it would be that could make you want to sacrifice twenty percent, unless it was saying twenty-five like... percent. Huh? Twenty-five. I'm sure they could justify themselves when they get out. I wouldn't do it. My mates would understand that. I don't, I'm not that desperate to see him. I, I think it would be fine. My sister's the only potential, Three and even now. that, I'm just like, my sister... I can't speak, dude. Oh, my um, words. Jesus I Christ. I've just had an emotional breakdown. Yeah, yeah. oh. um, I just got, I got a video message from my mum. I was like, literally, I was going... Was it nice? It was so nice. I feel really, we, we were just we were really bad because we've used 25% of the men? battery. But we had no... But I just literally... It was, it was, there was no comparison. But I've seen what you guys are in for. Was it awesome? Yeah, it was really nice, mate.
Robert. They gave us advice and gave us certain information. Huh? Did you get emotional? Uh, yeah. What, what happened? Can't My mum was just on the screen like for like two minutes saying like, oh, we love you, we're so proud of you, um, we miss you so much, um, I've got some advice for you about certain things in the house you need to be aware of and um, just be keeping yourself. Would you proper ball it? Very, very interesting. I could only imagine why. Huh? I could only imagine why. Yeah, I need to sit down and think, have a little think to myself for half an hour, I think. That is what you need, though. 12.15 p.m. Kimberly is wondering about the message Stephen received from his mum. Mm -hmm. I want to know more. Oh, I want to know more. Because then there's a comment that was made. I want to know more. What kind of name? Hasn't spoken to me. Don't forget. She's only, like... Human. Yeah. She doesn't and, know and you. She doesn't know you. No offence, Stephen's no, no disrespect. But she doesn't know do. you, and he's not stupid. Yeah, he's not stupid. Was he shocked? Was he shocked? Did you get a bit shocked? Do you think he was shocked that she actually said it or shocked at the comment? What advice did they give you? I need to ask the diary room something before I, before I discuss it with you. But until I've asked the diary room, I'm not going to discuss it with you because it's probably in a, it might be an irrelevant conversation. That's what I'm saying. It's something we need to discuss together, not in front of people, yeah? Where's my cigarettes? Need a fag. I'm waiting for them to bloody call me up to Can the I door. Can I have a hint? What? Have it. Uh, no, no, no. Please don't, because I just want to. I want to talk to the diary room first, because if it is, there's no need for us to even discuss it. We just. Need, I just need to ask the diary room first. <laughs> don't, I wouldn't give you. I wouldn't give you a card if I was worried, would I? I'm not, okay. I'm, not, I'm not worried about anything. I just need to ask the diary room. But there when was something like I need to said about yes, me. Yes, there was something specifically said about you. Bad. Um, not not the best, if I'm honest with you. Please don't worry about it, because I'm not worried about anything. Hey, yeah, I feel pretty good. Pardon me. What are you looking at me like that for? Because I'm just like, what the fuck was said? No, just look, there's no point me. I'm not going to just. If if I go to the diary and find out when it's been said, when it's been taken. Why does that have to do with when? Well, because it does, because we might have had a conversation about it, and I'm not going to even dra drag it all out of the water again. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Is there a second? <clears throat> do I need to worry? Like... No, I don't think you should worry. Because I'll tell you why, from what I'm taking from that, sorry to be listening, <laughs> is that something's been said, but I would just wait until he comes back from the diary and speaks about it. Because if you think about it, he knows you better than, no offence, his mum knows you. She's just seen a couple of minutes a day. We know you. If that's clarified with you when he speaks to you about it, you could be like, where the fuck have you got that from? <laughs> Um, I just need to ask something. The video that my mum filmed <coughs> for me, that I've, that I've seen, thank you very much for that, it was very nice. Can you tell me when it was taken, please? Stephen, Big Brother cannot reveal when the film was made. Um, the reason why is because, obviously, like, um, I'm very, very fond of Kim, and, I've, and I'm sort of, like, falling for her more and more by the day, and I was aware, <coughs> she told me that <coughs> she was in a relationship for two years and she split up with that person. Um, and if she's told me that, and then my mum's come on the screen today and told me that I need to, that, that something's not right, and basically that and I need to clarify something, then it means that what Kim's told me could potentially be untrue, and that will affect the way that I speak to her. I need to sit down and talk to Kim, and she needs to start opening up and telling me a few <clears throat> a few things because. I can't be seen to be distrusting her, but my mum's just come on and said that something's not right and I need to clarify the word dating. And that, that she doesn't want me to get hurt like I got hurt before. If that's the case, I need to approach this very soon and find out what the fuck's going on. Because I'm getting a little bit, I'm getting a little bit brain fucked by it and, and, I, and I don't get brain fucked. As far as I'm concerned, I judge Kim on the moment that I saw her. But if there's any kind of relationship that she's in, or there's any question mark, or whether she's in or out of it, then that needs to be clarified in, right, literally right away. I need to know. 
he will probably come to you and I've got a feeling it's going to be something so, no offence to him, but you know what Stephen's like, he gets worked up. It's probably going to be something quite minuscule, no offence. And you're going to be like, this is exactly what's happened and then you'll sort it. I don't even see this is going to be an issue. Okay. I really don't think this is going to do it. Kim, you know what you're like, you're very level-headed, don't get sucked into this. Right. They're doing, think how they're doing this. I know. No disrespect to his mum, but just be, you know what I'm saying, you're a clever girl. It's funny because we spoke about it last night, I was like, parents don't like me. And fucking don't, but... Like, I like you. Thank Stephen you. likes you. There's a lot of people here that like you, and we know you better than, no offence, someone that's watched ten minutes of the show. True. Coming up, Stephen wants answers. If you're serious about me and you're serious about us, yeah. you have got to be up front with me and know so I know what I'm dealing with. And Kimberly breaks down. I wasn't supposed to come in here and fall in love with someone. I wasn't supposed to do that. One forty-five pm For the next part of today's task, Danielle has been called to the app zone for a potential pet-related treat. The BB app on offer to you now is the pet app. This BB app will allow you to spend some time with your pet dog, Coco, in the diary room. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you so much! Coco is here right now, waiting to see you. Oh my god! <laughs> Danielle? Using Big Brother's pet app will drain the battery by 20%. Yeah. Would you like to use the pet app? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, here we go. Four. Oh. 20. 20. 20. 55%. After two people, three people. Ooh. Yeah. I think they're all going to be like, they're going to be at least 20. Danielle, Hi. how does it feel to be back with Coco? <laughs> it's just, just amazing, thank you. What are you doing? Come up here. I know, I see you. Danielle, yeah. how much have you missed Coco? More than I've ever missed anything in my whole life. Do you think Coco's missed you, Danielle? Yeah. Is it better? A better, a better. <laughs> and they called it puppy love. <laughs> I just love you, just love you. To get in here, go, 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 go here. And why I love her so. She's lovely, isn't she? Three or seven p.m. Housemates are speculating about what Kimberly may have told Stephen. You've been lying to him. All right, he thinks you've been lying to him. Yeah. He, he gave her the opportunity in the night to be like totally honest. Yeah, and she kind of just said like nothing. From what he was saying to me, I went, "You need to check if she's got a boyfriend because that doesn't sound good." Mm. Yeah, but from what he's imagine it's who had that. Really? Not too bad. Imagine it was actually Hugh Hefner. But from what um, his mum said, it's obviously affected him. Stephen is grilling Kimberly. When you came into this house, you told me you were dating. Yeah. When I asked you if you had a boyfriend, you told me you were dating, and we laughed and joked about the fact that the Americans say dating. Yeah, I know. Now, the fact of the matter is, is she's asked me to clarify that word with you. If you're serious about me and you're serious about us, yeah. you have got to be up front with me and know it so I know what I'm dealing with. I didn't expect to come in and start falling in love with somebody, which I'm doing. 
And for that reason, if you value our relationship, then I need you to put your trust in me. Okay. I was in a very serious relationship, I don't know, for like two years. Mm -hmm. And like, I've tried to make it work mm -hmm. so many times. Mm -hmm. And it's like, before getting in here, you know, I was just like, you know, let's like, I'm gonna do whatever I want and I'm gonna do like, I'm just going to be me. How long ago did you have that conversation before you came in? Be honest. So I think it's about a week or two. Right. So up until a week or two before you enter this house, you were still intimately involved with another man. Yeah. Great. Absolutely wonderful. And the fact is, is that if we hadn't have met on this show, there was a strong possibility that after this, you would have been intimately involved with him again. Yeah. Yes. He's planning about fucking moving to Keswick and Chelsea with her. That's one of the reasons why I don't, I don't get close to girls, just for the reason little shit like that. That's why I always say girls fucking I cheat. Fucking trust and when them. I said girls fucking cheat more than men, and she stood there in that conversation and said no. <laughs> shit. But I can understand if you don't want to speak to me or something like I get that. You're in a relationship with another man, Kim. You'd lied to me. You should have been completely upfront with me. You told me you were dating. You allowed me to fall in love with you, knowing that there's another man out there that you were going to get back with when leaving this house. I'm sorry to say, but whatever you can say to me, that is so out of order. How can you possibly say that's not a relationship, Kim? You... <sighs> it's fucking not fucking acceptable. You should not. I asked you in that lounge, are you in a relationship? You said no. You are in a relationship. Three forty-two p.m. Stephen and Kimberly have been in the bedroom for thirty-two minutes. <sighs> fucking hell! What a fucking dick I am. What a fucking situation I'm in here. Jesus. Stephen, you never fail to fucking be a prawn and a prat. Marlon, Ash and Winston are enjoying the view. What can you see? Trees, buildings. Can you see any people? A few fit birds. What, flying birds? <laughs> yeah. Anything <laughs> <laughs> you know goes? No, well, just the couple sunbathing over there. Mm. Eesh. Kimberly has come to talk to Big Brother. I just feel like a horrible person. I wasn't supposed to come in here and fall in love with someone. I wasn't supposed to do that. I wish I was a bit more honest and upfront with people. Oh, it's Steven. I wish I was. Because maybe he would have understood better. He would have understood more. The relation that I had outside of this house, even though it was established that, you know, we are, I guess, somewhat on a break for, for this summer. We are living together and I didn't, really didn't expect to come in here and find someone like Steven. And... I don't want to lose him. What makes you think you're going to lose him? Because his mom warned him about me. Like... And if I was him, 
I probably wouldn't believe me. You know, I wouldn't. So I don't know how I can expect him to. I just fucked her head up. I just know that he wants to know answers, but sometimes I feel like when he's trying to speak to me, I just I freeze and I just feel like I forget even how to speak. I just can't even articulate myself. And it's frustrating because I want to. I want to explain everything, but walking in this house, I was like, right. I'm just going to like really personal things. I'm not going to like divulge to the world. But, you know, that, that has backfired <laughs> massively. I should, I should have just been more honest. <sighs> I didn't say the whole truth. I lied about certain things to protect myself. And I, in, instead of protecting myself, ended up just exposing myself to the people that I, you know, I care about the most. And that's shitty. really shitty. <sighs> 5 45 p.m. Jarlier is preparing for a surprise attack. Come and sit with me, Christopher and Boz. I swear if you drown me in yogurt. I'm not. It's so bored. <laughs> 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 Kimberly and Stephen are back in bed discussing their relationship. There's nothing you're not telling me. What? You just, what did I tell you? just saying, as long as you've told me everything, I'm not going to have this conversation again. But it was like it was. We thought that we, we thought, yeah, probably, yeah. What? Why not? We're living together, whatever. We did think that, yes. Right. Okay. Do you want to do this? No more lies, now, Kim. I'm serious. Okay. No more. Just okay. can't deal with it. with each other because we're starting off on a very, very dangerous foot. You remember what I told you about, about trust? I told you I'd always give you my trust. I told you that. I told. I sat there with you so many times at 150 steps. Once it's broken, second it's broken, I like, eat I'm out of here. I know. And the thing is, is that I can't, I don't even know how I'm reacting this, whether I'm going to have a delayed reaction or something. But the only way I can feel that you do it is to tell you I don't want to not be with you. I don't want to lose you because I do... I am falling in love with you. And I do see us having a very nice future together. But I'm telling you that this is not going to happen again. I know. Promise me. Promise. Mm. Coming up, the girls get the gossip. Why would Kim come to me? and try and ask me what's wrong with me. Why, why does she think that I tell her? I don't have a clue. We can't trust her. And Helen goes on the attack. Ashley is the biggest two-faced bitch that Aww, I am. that's me. Eight thirty-five pm for this week's shopping task, the house is running on battery power. Throughout the task, housemates will be tempted with apps that drain the battery. 
Helen, Kimberly and Jolly are next to be tempted with a chance to listen to gossip. The app on offer to you now is the Gossip App. Shit. Oh, shit, I know. We all saying yep? Yeah. Yep. Would you like to see what your housemates have really been saying about you all? Aww. Yep. Yeah, go on then. Go on then. Do it. Well, that way I'll see it. The vote to say with someone that's redeeming themselves and is consistent, someone like that. We need to see if people who have an effect on every voice. We can see if Ash, just because he's very close to hell. What, no, what does he do for me in the house? What does he do for you in the house? What does he do for you in the house? We have to see if one person we've all agreed on Stephen. Yeah. 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 Like, would it not be fair for to see if a second Where person? Where was I? Then maybe we should go for one of the guys that we agreed on. We're all in kind of agreement, so voice and numbers. I think we've all made valid points. Does yeah. anyone have any? Right, Meeting cool. adjourned. Meeting adjourned. Do you feel like you masterminded the outcome with yeah. the nominations? I really do. I, like you've no idea like I've never done anything like that before I've never actually like sat down and made I like feel like I've made some sort of evil plan and it came together like you know, you've no idea how that feels it's so weird I, I don't particularly like it but I do find it funny that I was able to do it I just hope it works now are you fucking kidding me are you fucking kidding me what? I don't, I don't understand that love. She had an evil plan and it's all come together. And she feels excited about it. We're all shitting it because we, the, someone's fate lies in our hands and she's said that. What a fucking knob. Well, I didn't know she had an evil plan. Fucking hell, who is she? Cruella and fucking Deville. I had an evil plan and I'm so glad it came together. She Let's just see. gets better and better. Let's now see we know why she got chatted like fuck on Friday. Let's just see what else I have to say. I'm very interested. Please stop me, Ashley, again. She's boring Why shit. would Kim come to me and try and ask me what's wrong with me? Why, why does she think that I'd tell her? I don't have a clue. You can't trust her. Oh my God, is that you? I made yep. what I need to make. Do you know what I mean? In that time, you all right? Yeah, hey, what you guys up to? Oh, just oh, observing. Just observing what, man? I can like bedroom window. <laughs> you need to say to her, Kim, you always make out that I am feeling worse than what I am. Say that to her. Because I says that to Jale. I says to Jale, Kim, always like, are you okay? 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 Like, do you know what I mean? Like, wow. And I'm like, yeah. And you're like, yeah. No, no, I'm fine. Hang on a minute. Why are you drinking me into this? Are you okay? And she's like, why the fuck does she always ask me? And I'm like, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, I was just asking. Just be careful what you're saying to her. No, I don't trust her. Okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm saying something when I get out there. No, no, fuck off. Let's no. discuss this afterwards. No. You need to be careful not what to lash out too much. All right. right I won't even. I won't, I won't bring Ash into it. I won't bring Ash into it. But what the fuck? I am not not saying anything. You no we way. That I don't care what either of you say. I'm fucking saying something. All right. Well, Jesus that's clear. Fucking two faced nasty little bitch. I'm not surprised with one. Very surprised with Danielle. Who right, big brother. Fucking, who needs fucking enemies with friends like that? <coughs> Can I just ask you this, and I want you to think about this, really, just really think about this. Oh my god. Is it an advantage that you go out and say that? Or is it more of an advantage that we know that we are privy okay, to this information? Okay, we just we just not say anything? Yes, because honestly, if we are privy to this information, and they do not know that, that's us. Come on, slag me off. It'll be me, mate. And is it just me? I'm going on a... I'm going on a gossip now, but it's me as Charlie just got really foul mouthed all of a sudden. <laughs> it's like the uncool kid who suddenly got in with the cool kids. Totally. And being an adopted asshole. their behaviour rather yeah. than going. You're an asshole. She was literally saying like, "Oh, if I did this, I just, I just fucking climb them out and fucking this, and I just shit all over them." I'm going. What are you talking about? I'm so yeah. glad I'm spot on with this shit. She is I feel really spot on as well. Yeah, so it's not Makes me feel really uncomfortable. That's why she's been on a bad dick. Totally. She hardly speaks to me, Nashla, now. Yeah. Hardly speaks to us. She's so far up Helen's arms. Wow. <laughs> Brilliant. Wow. Far up Helen's ass. Says the two girls who never fucking speak to me and they come in and go, oh, it's, 
it's really bad. Are you all right? Why are you, I'm going to say to her, why are you asking me if I'm okay? Why are you asking me okay? Why are you asking me okay? Why are you asking me okay? <laughs> <laughs> Helen, please. For fuck's sake. This, this is hilarious. Fucking two-faced cunts. Good, that good. was great. Good, good, bad. Yeah. Amazing! Was brilliant it? Brilliant footage! Woo! What was it? So fucking happy! Oh, that's what, fucking brilliant. What was it, Joe? Love living with these people! Fantastic! Charlie? What was it? Oh, it was great! Brilliant! Loved it! Are you ignoring me, Charlie? What? <laughs> what? Go on, tell us what, what got said. No, I think it's all right. I think I'm going to pass for now. Really do. Really do. Was Tonight's probably not the night. Not the night to go into this. <laughs> Was it good? We've just watched half an hour or a bit Why more of gossip evil? in the house. Look at you. Stay with me now. A very surprising gossip. What well, was there? Actually, that's that a surprise, to be honest. It was just We're not going to do the process of It was just two people <laughs> no. who Thank you very much. slagged, like, everyone off throughout the house. Who? Go on, tell us. <laughs> I've agreed not to say anything. I wanted to say stuff, but no. It'll be embarrassed people. It's anyway. not fair, really. You might as well hit us with it. No. It will come out. Go on, who was in there? <laughs> I'll take yeah. it on the who chin. Who was in there? Who do you think? I don't know. We're talking about our gossip that we've heard people slagging us off, really, and I'm just saying that some want? things aren't really a surprise. I think it's possibly a conversation with less people around, so... Yeah. That's possibly how I would be dealing with it. Basically, Ashley is the biggest two-faced bitch sat Aww, here. that's nice. I know you did that to Kim the other night, didn't you? Is that what you do to everybody? Public will have seen what you said, and everyone here is going to see what you said as well. Are you going to say, oh, oh, oh again? You get over yourself. Get over me. I have nothing to get over, Ashley. You've just been exposed for what Very you are. Very good. So the whole public, whole public exposed to you, and everybody will see it when they get out of here as well, and they'll see you. Exactly. Two you come too fast. I wouldn't waste my breath on her in real life. Blah, blah, blah. What do you mean Thanks you said about her? Thank you for that. A couple of people have said I've got an <laughs> evil <laughs> plan, and I'm so glad it's all come Boys together. That is what you said yeah, in the diary room. room. I've you got an evil that. plan against Ash. No, I said... Yes, we've no, just watched it. No, we've just watched it. Right, well, that's not the it. evil plan I against Ash. I have an Ash. evil plan, and then she sits there and that's goes, not. and I'm really glad that it's all come together and smirks at the no, screen. No, I said I'm happy that no, Ash no, no, didn't no. come off the screen. I, I know what I saw, Ashley. Yeah, Ashley. right, okay. We all, all three of us Oh, yeah, saw no, it. and Ash will see it Is exactly as well when he leaves. I know, I know he will. Regardless of what's happened, I'm thoroughly happy that I've seen what I've seen. That's good. It is really good. Yeah. I don't have hard feelings against it. I've seen it. People have come out. That's fine. What's the big deal? I'm glad everyone you showed your true time. colours though. It was brilliant. It was immense. Every I hope yeah, everyone shows the true colours. I think that's fine. Everyone's going to come out in a different way. So be it. I'd kind of prefer to have a conversation with the three people that are involved in this rather than everyone else. Cause it's what, just why don't each ridiculous. you take Ashley? Why don't you go talk to Ashley individually? It's not just Ashley. So, like... It's just it? that, that was brought up. I'm not willing to say it. Well, you know, you come back and just sit there and don't say. You might as well say, you said half it now. I what's, a, what's the point of sitting there? If it's not just there? Ashley, just then you should say it, it to everybody say that was involved yeah, and pick, not just, just Ashley. Ashley. Yeah. 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 Don't just pick on one person. I've not said anything derogatory towards Ashley. Ashley, have I just said anything derogatory towards you? No, not really. Okay, well. thank you. Everyone. I'm just saying, if you have watched people slag, you don't just go for one, go for all of them. We're going off what we've just seen. But you know, you just said you didn't just oh, see it. I saw Danielle. She sat there. I saw Danielle saying you don't that just she need to go for it, which really shocks me. She doesn't trust Kim. You don't need to tell that me. I'm just saying. Me. And I saw what little what little Chris said about Charlie, which shocked me again. Didn't shock me. What little Chris say about Charlie? I prefer to have a conversation well, with you alone, really, because I don't want your little minions to be encouraging you to be a little bit more over the top, like what, you know what I just saw a minute ago. Don't, talk alone. don't really touch me, please. That's all I'm going <laughs> to say to you. <laughs> don't really need you touching me at the moment. Okay. I think that we could be civil about this. I don't think it needs yeah. to turn into like a brawl of some sort. Like we're all sitting here, it's fine. Brawl. Yeah, but the fact you've the, it's the way you've done it. You come back and say you're not going to say anything, and then you've gone and said you said bits of it. Just say the whole thing. No one cares. We'll That's my last say. It was, it was just three people. It was Listen. Ashley, Danielle and little Chris. That's it. Little Chris was the, the only thing little Chris said was about Jale, but that's to do with them. Listen, at the end of the day, 
Helen wanted to say something, she said it. If I or Jale wants to say something, we will. I, I wasn't going to say I anything. I will not be pressured to say something if I don't feel like saying it. I want to say something. If it's inappropriate for me, not I'm not going to discuss it here. In. Helen wants to do it. That's fine. If you walked out saying we've just been slagged off to fuck, I don't think anyone was going to go on say what God said. Go say what God Just come out laughing. Oh, it was I'm very clear now. Saying. Very fucking clear yeah, now. Yeah, but Mark. Nah, Mark. not but Mark. No. Yeah. That's because you Mark. just come out saying, oh, no. it was all lovely. Because it was funny. We were actually shocked to what we've just that seen. That was funny to what? That's what I'm saying. It wasn't meant to be funny. When people are being, when people are being outed, that isn't funny. No one likes being outed for what they are. Fucking hell. Not supposed to be amusing. It was amusing for us to watch, though. Where is she? True colours. Nine twenty-five p.m. Jarlier is having a word with Chris. Any pro right? Basically, I have a massive problem with this because there's a series of clips that were shown where you, Ashley, and Danielle have been set up in the pod. And basically commentating of me, and I'm just discussing me at the moment, yeah. Yeah, I'll listen. Discussing what your views are of me in terms of, oh, hasn't she done this? Hasn't she done that? The bad, oh, she's swearing a lot more than usual. Do you not yeah. think it's this? Oh, she's wedged her so far at Helen's ass. She was uncool, but now she's cool again. Oh, what, isn't that a bit pathetic? For me to sit and watch that when, sorry, but I feel like I've given people um, enough of a chance here. I don't really feel like I kind of deserve that, and I'm not happy with it. At the end of the day, if there's a problem here, I'm, you know, big enough and ugly enough to sit and take it on the chin. If you think that I've done something wrong to you personally, discuss it with me. Don't sit yeah. up in a fucking pod. Absolutely fair enough. With young women yeah, discussing I didn't things. Look at it and like I will have a women. separate issue with the other two that I've yeah. got problems with as well. Um, just looked quite terrible, really, and bad, bad character judgment, if I'm being honest with you, because it wasn't necessary. Oh, no, okay, I, right. Don't discuss me, please, or speak to me about it. Go, well, there's something wrong with you. What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I absolutely, you, I can't argue that. You're absolutely right. Um, I understand that it doesn't look good. I shouldn't have said it. it it's just not. Uh, it's just the last thing in the world I want to do is hurt anyone's feelings. Helen is discussing her argument with Ashley. And I did it in a circle of people so I couldn't be branded a bully. If I was bullying, I'd have got her on her own. So I did it in front of a circle of people so that if I, if I stepped over the line, someone could say, Helen, you're saying too much. I, think it's I didn't say it's too much. Well, in fact, was in fact I haven't fucking said enough. Who said anything yeah. about me? No, what? No. You're joking. What does she mean? I don't do anything for anyone. She said, you don't do anything for anyone. Shit for anyone like what? She went, um, Lazy fucker. She was like, she, no, she just went, um, what does he even bring to this house? That's what she was sat there saying. No comment. It was the diary room. She sat there and that after was us all, horrible. that was evil. That was, she, that's I've why I just seen, said, Mark, Mark needs to shut up saying things to me. Yeah. I'm going to flip. He, he keeps saying He's things pissing to you. me off. Yeah. People just pipe up for no reason. Shouldn't really be any necessity for anyone Winston to pipe needs up to unless shut people the fuck are up involved. As well. I mean, the might as well just fade, fade us to the fucking lions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hello. We have talked so much. What the hell, people. man? <laughs> what the we hell? We have spent a lot of time talking about a few people. But I bet you ain't. See, when you go out there, whenever you'll go, touch wood, it's not Friday. Bet you anything, we'll just see the exact same thing said about us. I know. I mean, it's just ludicrous. Believable, man. Coming up, Danielle ducks for cover. I actually want to leave through the other door now. I feel so uncomfortable. And Mark gets it in the neck. She was oh, rubbing her hands over your friend, defending. But he's got the last laugh because he's still eager. Yeah. <laughs> Eleven seventeen p.m. Danielle has come to talk to Big Brother. Oh my God! You've just—you really have just set a nuclear war off downstairs. Things were getting back on an even keel, and then you just—you know—let the yuha hit the fan. I mean, it's just a nightmare. Do you have any idea how awkward it is downstairs? It's like I actually want to leave through the other door now. I feel so uncomfortable. I'm not going to do that because I have to stick this out. 
But oh dear God, if that girl goes on Friday, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Just when we were getting back on an even keel, big brother. <sighs> The house is still reeling from Helen and Ashley's argument. She was rubbing her hands over your friend defending. But he's got the last laugh because he's still exactly. eager. What does that matter? That matters because, everything. Right, if you fucking here? watch someone, I ought to God, both of you get to see someone in this house speak about you the way I've watched someone speak about him and her this week. Because you will feel like shit, but you probably will never understand it because it's not going to happen to either of you. The rest of the housemates are in the kitchen. See, the way I see it is I could be out there defending myself because I know she does shit stirring about a bit. Say again? She has shit stirring about a bit. So she shits there the whole time. I know, and like, I'm going to, like, will I go out there and defend myself? Because actually she's putting things into people's heads that aren't actually true. Or will I just save my energy and just leave it because... No matter what, she's just going to shout and shout and shout and be honest, I don't actually want to listen to She will just shout yeah. you down. I, I stuck up for my friend. If I, I feel like someone's friend. not matched, then I fucking exactly. will. That's just me. I stuck yeah. up for and my friend. And I always friend. will. I'm fucking and Danielle, proud of it. I'm proud of it. I couldn't give a fuck. She, mm. She was mad. Matt, if I felt like three Matt. people were jumping in on you, even if you were in the wrong, I'd stick yeah. up for you just because you'd be one against the day. I couldn't give a fuck people. if you think that's wrong. The thing is, Matt, I choose who three people. my friends are. I have friends around Whatever. me who I know wouldn't be You did it completely the wrong way. You did it completely the wrong way. didn't do it the wrong way. It shouldn't like have been done said, in front of fucking 13 people. I hope you see. I hope you see. I hope you see. In fact, I both hope you're on the receiving end of what we saw tonight one night. Because you're never going to get it. You keep saying this. You keep saying we're never going to get it. We're never going to get it. You won't what, get where I'm coming from. You won't you will get where, I'm, get I where I'm coming from, is what I mean. Mm. I don't know don't what's really going on in here anymore. I just I don't there understand times... why people come in here if they don't want to just have, have fun. Like, what is this? I don't understand why they're still. I can, I can still mm. hear her. The whole worst thing about this is, right, I know. I know after this. Is it still there's going to be. Yeah, because Winston and Mark are defending you. Are they? They no, are sweeties. Not so much defending you, defending the situation. Yeah, I just can't but understand how so she is bored already. Seriously, how is she not bored? Just leave it, Chris. Mark and I, I'm not getting seriously. involved. No, I'm just cannot understand just how you're not being bored it's long. Just seriously, it's like. I, 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 I think it's just any energy that's put into it is just accentuating no, anything I'm that's said. Trust me. One a.m. Kimberly is making amends. Sorry. Mm hmm Sorry. What? Sorry. <sighs> you said sorry an awful lot today. I know, I need to stop saying sorry. It's a bit overused. Do you know what I'm, I'm very concerned about as well as how I've reacted today? I think I've fucking dealt with it really well, you know? Yeah, you do. On the whole, I think I've dealt with it very, very, very well. On the whole, yes. Thank you very much. You wouldn't have dealt with it as well. Helen and Ash are talking about Danielle and Ashley. I'm not getting involved into an argument again with them today. I just, I just feel like people just don't know. You know, Helen, you can handle yourself. Um, I'm pretty sure from what I've seen, I've, the last two occasions, I always um, feel she's like, more nasty than me. Yeah, everyone kind of switched it on you. I always feel like you're kind of getting picked on. <laughs> everyone like. I think it's goes a shame that I can handle you, that. Because you, you're shouting at everyone. As long as you tell me you're committed to me, as long as you know it's us, as long as you understand how strongly I feel that if you're outside this house, that you make sure that my family look after you. And as long as you don't go back to that place on your own at all, and as long as the, your goods are removed, and as long as you don't have any communication with him, I don't have a problem with it. If you do, then I will not I be doing it. I will need to explain to him properly. Well, no, Kim, there's no fucking explaining to him. There is no way in a million years I feel comfortable you have any contact with him. I'm sorry. You, you can listen, whatever, whatever you say, that's the only one thing I ask in the sense that if you value our relationship, I cannot have the thought in my mind that when I'm in this house and you're not, if that's the case, that you no, potentially... No, when you're out of the house, I mean... Well, yeah, that's fine. We have to do it together. Yeah. Okay. So, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You lied to me, bare face lied to my face, and you upset me and hurt me. But I am falling in love with you. And I do want to build a life with you. And I do want to move in with you the second that we get out of here. And I do want to enjoy each other and have a good life, because I think if there's two people 
that could have a fucking decent life is going to be me and you. <laughs> Stay tuned for Bit on the Side with Emma Willis. She's joined by Ear One's Ben Adams, multi award winning journal Patrick Strudwick, and BB legend Nicky Graham. They'll be here with all the latest gossip from the Big Brother compound. <laughs>